is my desktop and I'm going to walk you through the steps so that you can get to Google Meet. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and Google Google Meet and then when you do that, so you just click go ahead and join or start a meeting. Let's say it's going to be Sarah's oh, okay. Sarah IEP meeting. I will not let me um, go ahead and put in a apostrophe S. So FYI on that one. Here we are. So when you click join meeting, this pops up. You want to say allow because you want to participate with your face. Um, and this is how you join. So here we are. I am the host. Now I've figured out just playing around that if you just don't have a G Suite, so if you just have Gmail, you can't host. So just keep that in mind. You're going to want to use your G Suite, which means typically that's through your employer. Let's see. So we're going to join the meeting and I'm going to also show you how to present. So let's join the meeting. So when I click join meeting, it pops up. You can see right away that there's a dial in number with a pin. So this is really important for people who will participate by phones, how to navigate the screen. Okay, so um, if you need to add anybody, this is where you click. Uh, if you need to mute your call, here is where you do it. This is if you wanna take your video away. So close captions, I have never done that before, um, but you can definitely do that. You can see that that is totally doing speech to text. Uh, here. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go back to present. That's important if you have something you need to present over the meetings. It only gives you the option of your entire screen. So this is not necessarily ideal, but if you have like no other options, I would definitely be okay with sharing my whole screen and make sure anything weird has been minimized. So I'm going to click sh share my whole screen and it gives you this. Do you want to do that? Yes. I'm going to allow that. Let's see if it pulls it up. Oh, I see there it is. Oh my gosh. Infinity, my screen. It's just that I'm recording my screen and I'm sharing my screen. So it's boop, boop, boop. The chat feature is in the upper right hand corner that looks like a text bubble. So let's go back to me. So yes, you could share a speech therapy material there. You could share a portion of the IEP. So I think it's really valuable. And you can see that there's a phone number to dial in. There's a pin number and there's a URL. So just copy that information into an email, like it could be a meeting invitation, so people can just click on it. Here is the Google Meet app. Google Meet. Now I've already downloaded it. You can see it immediately wants to access my camera, yes. I'd like you to access my microphone, yes. Um, okay, so you're gonna sign in. Yep, I want you to access my Google account. So then I put in my um, name and here we are. Here it says using Meet. Your account only lets you use Meet to join other people's meetings. To create your own meetings, use the G Suite account that's enabled for Meet. I am a, can only be a participant by phone. The meeting has to be like on the other side on a computer, which I'll show you. There I am. There we are. Enter meeting code. I'm going to type in the code to the meeting. There's the meeting ID. It is a series of letters between the two blue lines. And I had to request to join. I was trying to do a meeting with my personal Gmail, with my work Gmail. Be aware that you might, might have trouble joining a meeting if you don't get a specific invitation. I just wanted to quickly talk about if Google Meet was HIPAA compliant and it mentions being HIPAA compliant if you kind of integrate it with your Google Calendar. Honestly, I don't know. All I know is that the health and human services dot gov is is giving guidance that it's it's okay at the moment. I don't want to say violate HIPAA, but if you need to see a patient and the only way you can do it is uh, over a platform that's not HIPAA compliant. They want you to see the patient. 
they don't want you to say, I can't see you because it's not HIPAA compliant. And if you have any concerns, it might not be a bad idea to get some kind of consent. I would, I would imagine that most families wouldn't care that they would just prefer their child get seen. I hope this really helps you out. I'm so excited that we're getting to use these tools that have been available for a while in a new way um, to help people, to help students, patients, clients. And if you have any other questions for me, feel free to comment below. Uh, I am, this is not affiliated with Google Meet at all. It's not sponsored. If you could go ahead and, and subscribe to the channel, that'd be amazing. I'd love to have you here for more um, content as we go on. So I will catch you later. Thanks.